Hi friends, good morning. This is Suvarna Keshu welcoming you all to Suvarna's Hobby World from Dwarka. This is the view of Dwarka from our hotel. Here is a tower right in front of the hotel. And this hanging bridge is called the Sudama Bridge. This is the temple Gopura of Dwarkadish temple. This is the scene at the banks of river Gomti and we can see some people taking the holy dip and Sudama bridge is also clearly visible. This is the vast expanse of river Gomti and she flowing in all her elegance. We are seeing the close-up of Sudama Bridge here. However, we were not allowed to go on the bridge as the Morbi bridge had collapsed recently and security precautions have been taken to check all the other bridges for the safety of the general public. <laughs> This is the pathetic state of roads in Varka. Real bumpy roads. Here is the temple Gopuram of the Dwarakadish temple. The flag on top of the temple tower is changed several times in a day. This is the front view of the temple tower. Videography or photography is not allowed inside the temple complex. Hi friends, we are at uh, Dwarka Dish Monday. It is in Dwarka. But however, due to security reasons, mobiles are not allowed inside and we cannot have the video recording of the darshan also. So I am then showing you only the temple tower or the Vimana Gopura. So we will get in, have the divine darshan of the Lord and then get back to you. These are the models of Dwarkadish and Krishna I purchased in Dwarka. These are the sweet shops near the temple. And here we go. These are the other colorful shops which sell lots of colorful dupattas, purses. Sweets. and this is the Hika Handi, the Pata pot of Lord Krishna. Some colorful slippers sold here. These are the various colorful dresses for Lord Krishna.
we get Krishna's like this and we can decorate Krishna according to our taste using these colorful dresses. How is the sprawl in the colourful bazaar street of Dwarka, friends? Isn't that exciting? Here are some people leaving diyas into the divine Gomati river. It was a full moon day in Dwarka. This is how the moon looked in all his grandeur. Let's now visit Nageshwar Temple, another Jyotir Linga, and Uksmani Devi Temple. Hi friends, we are at the Nageshwar Temple here in Gujarat, and it is another Jyotir Linga, and we also have a huge Shiva statue here. And in my background, you can see the huge temple here. So let us now go and have the holy darshan of Lord Nageshwar. Nageshwar is the eighth Jyotirling and here Shiva is worshipped in snake form and Parvati Devi is also worshipped as Nagin. Hence, in addition to holy Ganges water, idols of couple serpents or snakes are also offered to Lord Nageshwar. Nageshwar is 17 kilometers from Dwarka. A huge idol of Lord Shiva is present at the very entrance. Since Shiva killed Daruka, the demon here, it is called Daruka 1. Cassett King Gulshan Kumar of the T-Series renovated this temple. A beautiful idol of Nandi can also be seen here. And this is Lord Nageshwar.
शंकर श्रीनाथ प्रभु के नृत्य विराजित चित्र स्वभा घन 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 घुम गुरु बाजे घन 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 घुम गुरु बाजे घन 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 घुम गुरु बाजे घन 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 घुम गुरु Friends, we are near Rukmini Mata Temple now. Sri Krishna elopes with Rukmini, the princess of Vidarbha, who was to marry Shishupala against her wishes. They see Sage Durvasa Ashram on the way. Krishna and Rukmini invite him for lunch, for which he lays a condition saying that he be driven in a chariot which is drawn by Lord Krishna and Rukmini Mata herself. And Rukmini Mata and Lord Krishna start pulling the chariot. Rukmini Mata becomes tired and begs Krishna to get her some water. Krishna presses his toe on the ground and they both drink the water that emerges. The furious Durvasa curses them both that they be separated for 12 years. Hence, Rukmini Mata stays in this temple and Krishna in Dwaraka. Later, pleased by Rukmini's behavior, Durvasa blesses her that a person's yatra of Dwaraka is fully completed only after one visits this temple too. We see all these scenes depicted pictorially on the inner walls of the Rukmini Mata temple. As this is a very ancient temple, we see that the outer walls of Mata Rukmini Devi temple is highly eroded. So thank you friends. It's me Suvarna Keshav signing off. Please do like, share and subscribe to Suvarna's Hobby World.